Evans hit up Chris Westry and it was like, hey, sorry, my boy. I just, we ain't got it right now. Uh, but anyway, YouTube, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Now, with Chris Westry, he's somebody who I just, I wasn't 100% sure what his status was going into this offseason. I didn't know whether he was a an unrestricted free agent or restricted free agent, but this clears it up. And he is a free agent that's restricted. Um, and Jeff Zrebic, he reported that the Ravens informed Chris Westry that they won't be tendering him to a, on a contract, but, 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 uh, they are still interested in re-signing him, uh, and they'll keep trying to talk it out. So, just to explain to you, uh, what a restricted free agent is, um, that's a free agent that, again, is restricted, um, but the way that it works, uh, the team that they're currently on, and we'll use, just use Ravens and Chris Westry as an example, um, the team that they're currently on, the Ravens, can place a tender on him. That tender can be a first round, second round, third round, fourth round, and they have some low round tenders as well. What that tender does is sign that player to a one-year deal. But, again, remember, they're still a free agent, right? But they're a restricted free agent. So, if another team, just to use the Steelers as an example, if the Steelers wanted to sign Chris Westry from the Ravens with him being a restricted free agent, they could do that, but if they did it, and just to use it as an example, what if the Ravens placed a second round tender on Chris Westry? If the Steelers wanted to sign Chris Westry, they could sign him, take him away from the Ravens, but they would have to give the Ravens a second round pick. So whatever round tender is placed on a player, if an outside team wants to sign that player, they have to give the current team that that player is on that draft pick. But... It's said that uh, by Jeff Zrebeck as well that the, uh, the low round tender for the restricted free agents uh, is about 2.5 mil. But the Ravens, they told Chris Westry, look, look, <laughs> look. And I know y'all done all heard that look before by, by somebody. If somebody owe you something, whether it's money or whatever, and they say, look, you know you ain't about to get it. So Ravens told Chris Westry, look, we want to bring you back, but... We just, we want it to be under some better terms. So I'm sure they'll get that deal done. Uh, Chris Westry is somebody that he has some promise. So we know he played for the Cowboys before, um, but he, um, he has some promise, man. And with them getting ready to lose Jimmy Smith, I'm sure they'll want to try to tinker with Chris Westry to see what they can really bring out of him, to see if they can really bring the best out of Chris Westry. I'm not saying he's going to be some lockdown corner or anything like that, but... The potential is there. Like this dude is what, 6'3", 6'4", but he can move too. He can move. So you facing some bigger uh, wide receivers, some outside wide receivers and Chris Westry, he gets some techniques down there and work on some stuff, clean some stuff up. Hey, you just never know. You never know where this guy could go and you never know where his potential could take you. But hopefully Ravens can really bank on that potential. This is one of those deals where I don't think the Ravens are just talking. I think this is actually something that they will get done. They'll, they'll, they'll get it done, in my opinion. Uh, anything could happen, but I think they'll actually make this thing work. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much, team. Keep it clean. Y'all keep your heads up. I hope everything is going good. And if it's not, keep pushing. Do not quit. Don't quit. I love y'all. Stay up. We out.